afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this follow-up of National East Dales fixture at every stage of where it is. Holding the fort back there, it's not, uh, nothing's going really going past it. It's similar to similar to Saturday. It's really it's quite ticky tacky football to be honest. It's uh, it's a control. It's definitely keeping the ball on the ground in an, on a windy night. So. Yeah, and the ball now coming down the right hand side. Cross comes in right the way across the centre of the goal. Um, picked up though by Banton, who's coming in from this left wing back. Uh, he checks the ball back into uh, Mitchell Vies. Vies though tries to get a little ball across though via Banton, but it gets a deflection. Just bounces up in the air. But St Albans still looking very much in control. And, um, and now in midfield it's Hoddle again and when Hoddle plays they play really well gets in the band on the left hand side Mitchell Vies making a good diagonal run picks it up cuts inside first shot of the game from Mitchell V straight into the arms of Dubois in the Hampton and Richmond goal Hampton and Richmond building they're getting the ball down that right hand side here comes the cross it comes into the middle right the way across the face of the goal Charlie O'Connell couldn't get a foot on it and the ball is clear this is the first little sign of Hampton and Richmond just really up in the stakes up now by Rasulo gives it to Hoddle it's been quiet so far Hoddle gets the ball back from Rasulo in the penalty area but Hampton and Richmond it's all a bit of a mess and Dubois just comes and gathers and gains the ball Hoddle's though pass is cut out um, in that midfield area uh, by Isaac uh, Pitbado and the shot comes in Johnson great save down to his right hand side uh, St Albans just falling foul there a little bit and losing the ball Hampton and Richmond proving they can be dangerous when they get the ball and they get opportunities this is Clark now. He plays the ball from right to left. A fantastic pass. 40 yards into Rasulo. Now Jack James makes his run into the penalty area. He goes down. He appeals for a penalty, as do the Saints fans behind the goal. But to no avail, the referee just completely ignores it. Clarky, though doesn't opt for the short ball this time looks for the long ball finds Zane Banton on the far side Banton's into the area he whips it across the boys are going to come in here it falls and it goes off because of our entry music they they enjoy the theatre when they come they always say oh nice nice and Hampton and Richmond just building up little ball comes into the area and it's a, a chance of a penalty there no, the referee is giving it offside there. I thought Dan Barry just pushed a little, put a little push in. And St Albans just dropping players back. I can see Aidan Francis Clark now. And a player goes over. The referee, though, just waves it away. Hampton and Richmond fans appealing for a penalty. But they win the ball back on the edge of the area. The ball comes across. St Albans defending a little bit desperately. Ever so closely by Sam Dreyer there at the back. It gets it to Rob Hall. And now St Albans. Michael Johnson coming way out of his goal. Brings down. I'm just looking there to see who that is. Brings down. Topi Fadausu and he gets a yellow card. Michael Johnson's livid. Here comes Hall, whips it in, hits the top of the crossbar and just goes over the top there. Mm. A real opportunity for Hampton and Richmond and Hall is like living with himself. Absolutely living with himself, very frustrated. The score remains nil-nil. <laughs> Good press, Mitch. Pull back it up. Play the ball. Right, <laughs> 